Hi, Pastor Ed here, one last time this week for Daily Devotions uh, for Saturday, December the 24th, um, Christmas Eve. Um, there is a, a, a pastor and sort of theologian. Um, he's been looked upon by some as being sort of the Martin Luther of, of our day. His name is Brian McLaren. He wrote a book called Generous Orthodoxy. And one of the chapters is entitled, Jesus, Savior of What? Well, in this chapter, he argues that while Jesus did come to save us as individuals, um, in the West, we place such a strong emphasis on this idea of personal salvation that we've lost sight of the, the big picture. This is what he says, I used to believe that Jesus' primary focus was on saving me as an individual and on saving other me's as individuals. And for that reason, I often spoke of Jesus as my personal savior, and I, I urged others to believe in Jesus in the same way. I still believe that Jesus is vitally interested in saving me and you by individually, um, judging us, forgiving us of our wrongs, teaching us to live better lives. But I fear that for too many Christians, personal salvation has become another personal consumer product, like personal computers, a personal journal, personal time, etc. And Christianity has become a marketing program. If so, salvation is all about me, and I think we need another song. Through the years, he goes on, as I read the Bible and pondered the meaning and message of Jesus, and as I learned the ways of Jesus through spiritual practice, I became less and less comfortable being restricted to the personal Savior gospel. More and more, I shifted my reasoning for being a Christian to a belief that Jesus is the Savior of the world. The story is also told at a comparative religions conference. Uh, these wise and scholarly people were engaged in a spiritual debate about what's unique about Christianity. And someone suggested that what set Christianity apart from other religions was this concept of the incarnation, the idea that God took human form in Jesus. But someone quickly pointed out, well, actually, there are some other faiths that believe that God appears in human form. Well, another suggestion was offered, what about resurrection, the belief that death is not the final word, that the tomb was found empty, and someone slowly shook his head. Other religions have accounts of people returning from the dead as well. Then as the story is told, C.S. Lewis walked into the room with his tweed jacket and, jacket and pipe, arms full of papers, a little early for his presentation, and he sat down and he took in the conversation, which had now kind of evolved into a rather fierce debate, and finally, during a lull, he spoke, saying, what's all this rumpus about? And everyone turned in his direction and trying to explain themselves. They said, we're debating about what's unique about Christianity. Oh, that's easy, answered Lewis. It's grace. And the room fell silent. And Lewis continued that Christianity uniquely claims God's love comes free of charge. No strings attached. No other religion makes that claim. After a moment, someone commented that Lewis had a point. Buddhists, for example, follow an eightfold path to enlightenment. It's not a free ride. Hindus believe in karma, that your actions continually affect the way the world will treat you, that there's nothing that comes to you that's not set in motion by your own actions. Someone else observed that the Jewish code of law implies that God has requirements for us, for people to be acceptable to him. And another said that in Islam, God is a God of judgment, not a God of love. You have to appease him. At the end of the discussion, everyone concluded that Lewis had a point. Only Christianity dares to proclaim that God's love is unconditional, an unconditional love that we call grace. Christians boldly proclaim that grace really has precious little to do with us, our inner resolve, or our lack of inner resolve. Rather, grace is all about God, and God freely giving to us the gifts of forgiveness and mercy and love and that he came in person as God with us to deliver in person to us those gifts. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave us your only son to take on our human nature and to illumine the world with your light by your grace Adopt us as your children and enlighten us with your spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, that ends our daily devotions for this week. It ends on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. We'll see you again next week. Until then, take care.